Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is my voodoo reading for my fire sign. So if you're a Leo, Sag, or Aries, this reading is for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. All right. So the first card you have is Jimmy Ya. All right. That's awesome. And Jimmy Ya comes into a reading to tell you that, oh, your finances is about to increase here. I love Yimmy Ya, y'all. Y'all need to look her up. Yimmy Ya. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then you have the moon card. So it's saying you're going to receive clarity in regard to some situations that's going on in your life. All the lies, deception, and seed is going to be revealed to you. So I don't have to worry about that. Because it's saying that your third eye is definitely open. Then you have the Ace of Cups. So new love is coming in. Ida, we da. Mm-hmm. New love is coming in. New opportunities opening up. The justice card is here is telling you that you're never, ever, ever alone. You have secret societies. What that means is that your ancestors are always with you. Your angels, your guides, and things of that sort. You're never alone. So never feel as though you're alone. Then you have Les Barons. All right. Now, this card is a wild card. It talks about expect the unexpected. Okay? Keep your vibrations high. You don't have to worry about anything. You have cliche, so you've definitely been thinking fire signs about a lot of things. You've been analyzing, going inside yourself, trying to come up with the answers, what you should do in regard to some of y'all partnerships. Could be love partnerships, or either trying to um, get into a partnership with somebody at work. You have the Ace of Pentacles coming up. Olu Demar. Mm hmm. Financial increases coming in. Then you have Ogun La Flambeau. And this is just saying that somebody's going to try, this is the five of wands, yes. Somebody's going to try to get over on somebody, but you're going to be fully aware of the situation. Then you have Madame La Lune. I love Madame La Lune too. This is the wish card. Anything you're hoping to wish for at this time can come to fruition. I saw the temperance card, which is T-Bone Age. And this is telling you that you need balance in your life, fire signs. Then you have Nanan Blue Clue. And then and with glue is the two of swords. So it's telling you that you're at a crossroads in your life. You need to make a head of a hard decision in regard to something that's going on. Okay. Then you have the queen of cups. Hello, somebody. This is a water sign woman. Could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. But um, definitely she's very intuitive. She could be your best friend or your worst enemy. Look at that. She's a ma a mamba. Mm-hmm. Moving right along, we have the Sun card. This is the Leo card all day, every day. It's girls by an edge. So, you're definitely going to have some happiness coming into your life, fire signs. And then you have offers coming in from, oh, I like La Serene too. I love in this reading, fire sign. So, definitely going to have plenty of offers to be coming in. So, look forward to them. Accept them. Thank the universe. Thank your God. Thank you. Thank everybody. Ancestors and everybody. All right? All right. Then you have Dambala Wido. This is the Ace of Aries telling you that you've been, definitely in your mind, you're thinking. Everybody's thinking. I think everybody's been thinking a whole lot, trying to figure some things out, trying to manage things. But like um, fire signs, I feel like your minds are like on overdrive, you know. But um, it's still a good thing. New beginnings. Then you have Azon. And this is the Empress and you're going to birth out some new exciting things here. So look forward to that. And then your last card is Ocho C. And Ocho C is the Ten of Pentacles. Hello, somebody. We're about to get in the money. You're about to be in the money. With that being said, please like, subscribe, comment to my channel. Thank the universe. Thank your ancestors. Thank your gods and your spirits. With that being said, have a very blessed day.